Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and set up Docker on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Docker. And the first link which will appear here will be from docker.com. So we are going to click on this link and straight away we are on this docker.com website. Now in order to install Docker, click on get started. Now on this page, you can see get started with Docker and you will see some options to install Docker. First one is for Docker for Mac for Apple chips. That means if you have Apple chips like M1, M2, M3, then you can just click on this button. If you have Mac with Intel chips, then you can click on this option, which is um, download for Mac, Intel chips. I have a MacBook which supports Apple chips. So I'm going to just click on this uh, download for Mac Apple chip button, which is going to start the download for this DMG file. So just wait for this download to finish. And once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this DMG file and let me minimize my browser. So the installation of Docker is really simple. You just need to drag this Docker symbol into your applications folder. If you are using your MacBook's trackpad, then just press command key and then just drag and drop uh, this icon into your applications folder, which is going to start the copying process. You can see copying Docker to applications. Just wait for a few seconds. And once this is copied, we can close this window, eject this Docker from uh, or MacBook. So I can just right click on this Docker icon and then click on eject Docker. Now once Docker is copied into your applications folder, you can go to your launchpad section and here search for Docker and you will be able to see the Docker icon here. So I'm going to click on this Docker icon, which is going to start Docker on your Mac operating system. At this point, you just need to wait for a few seconds and you will see this kind of window which appears. So here you can see a Docker subscription service agreement and you will also see that Docker is starting on your Mac operating system and at the top you can see uh, this kind of Docker icon, right? So I'm going to click on accept here and now I can see this uh, window which says complete the installation of Docker desktop. The configuration below can be changed later in the settings. For now, I'm going to choose uh, this option which says use recommended settings, which requires the password. I'm going to just click on finish here. And then I'm going to provide my MacBook's password, which I use to log into my Mac operating system. And once that's done, this window appears. You can also see some uh, notifications here, which I'm going to close. So on this next window, Docker will ask you to sign in with your Docker account. The creation of Docker account is really simple. Just click on sign up here and then it's going to redirect you to this kind of web page where you can provide your email, username and password and then click on the sign up button which is going to sign you up into your Docker account. Now this kind of uh, Docker Hub account is useful when you want to push some images, which are some custom images uh, into your Docker Hub account. And then you also need to pull those images. So I already have the Docker account. So I'm going to click on sign in here. And then I'm going to sign in with my Docker account. And once I'm uh, signed in with my Docker account, I'm going to click allow here which is going to sign me in in my Docker desktop. And here you can see this uh, welcome survey. I don't want to uh, give any feedback, so I'm going to click on skip survey here. And now I can see my Docker desktop. So let me just close everything here. And this is how this Docker desktop looks like. On the top, you can see the Docker uh, icon and you can also see that Docker desktop is running. From here, you can restart the Docker, quit Docker desktop. Also, you can pause the Docker, right? You can also see the images once you have some local images or if you have pushed some images to your Docker hub, 
then you can also see those images here. Also, you can see the volumes and other information about your Docker containers. Once that's done, I'm going to minimize this and then I'm going to open the terminal. So just go to your spotlight and then just search for terminal and open the terminal. And here we can just write docker space version here and then press enter and it's going to give you some information about your docker version. You can also give this command which is docker info and then press enter and it's going to give you the information about your docker engine. Once those two commands uh, works in your terminal, you can also use Docker in your terminal. So I'm going to uh, clear the terminal. And let's say I want to uh, pull some image into my local machine. So what you can do is you can search for Docker Hub in your favorite uh, browser and you can open this website which is hub.docker.com. And once you are in this website, you can search for popular Docker images. So I'm going to search for hello world image, which is the official image by Docker. You can see here Docker official image. This is the image which you can use to test whether Docker is working fine on your uh, operating system or not. And the command here is docker pull hello world you can also copy this command by pressing on this copy button go to your terminal and then just write docker pull hello world which is going to pull this uh, docker image which is the hello world image once this image is pulled you can check the local images by giving this command which is docker images and then press enter you can see we have one image right now right so in order to run a container using this image, you can give this command, which is docker. And when you write docker and then press tab key, you will see what kind of commands are available, which are associated with docker, right? So once you install docker, it also comes with docker compose command, docker command I have already shown you. It also comes with docker credential desktop and all other commands like this right so in order to run your uh, docker container just write docker run and then the name of your image which is hello world in our case so we are going to write this hello hyphen world here and then press enter it's going to give you this kind of output which says hello from docker if you see this kind of output that means docker is working fine on your mac operating system once you pulled your images, you can also go to your Docker desktop and check the images here. So you can see now I have one local image. I can run it from here itself. And you can see right now it's in use. So it's going to give you the status of Docker also. You can also check your containers which are running. So you can see uh, this container we ran 42 seconds ago. Right, you can run this container again by clicking on this start button. To check the containers using command line, I can go to my uh, terminal and here I can just give this command which is which is docker ps command and it's going to give me uh, the containers which are running. Right now there are no containers running so I don't see any container. If some container is running you will be able to see the list of containers which are running here. Also if you want to see the list of all the containers which are running or not running you can give uh, this command docker ps with the flag hyphen a and then press enter and it's going to give you the containers which you ran previously also. Right, so this container is right now not running, but we ran this container two minutes ago. So this is how you can download and install Docker on your Mac operating system. From now on, you will be able to use Docker on your terminal or you can use the Docker desktop for pulling or pushing the image into the Docker hub also, right? So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.